Captain. Chris. We got him. Get them into their posts. Aye, aye, Captain. They're hauling away. We need to go faster, Chris. Let's feel the sails. All hands make sail. Take her to larboard, Chris. If we go past the rocks, we may well cut them off. Hard to larboard, man. Time to hit them broadside. Ready to cannon, man! Oh, you wet freaks! Move, you stupid bitches! Don't like this, Chris. This Torado asshole isn't going to play us straight. I'm telling you, something's off about this whole deal. Why you kill one of his own people? It doesn't make sense. We can't trust him. Calm down, Marcus. You know I don't trust anyone. 
There's no way I'm going to let this slime bag slip away without paying me. So lead the way. Yeah, I know. But this is bad business. A man willing to kill his own people for personal gain is no kind of man at all. Let's get what we're owed, and then call it quits with him. Perhaps some just getting too old for this kind of bullshit. Could be I need a break. Back in St. Lucia, it's just me and my distillery. <laughs> Same routine, day in and day out. You know... <laughs> and what would I do there? Keep you company while you watch the barrels mature? You liked St. Lucia well enough when you were a boy. Speaking of rum, you remember Captain Franz Peterson? He came by recently for his uh, supplies. He's been asking for you. Says he has a problem we could use your help with. Dutchmen drink like fools, but Franz is a reliable man. Not like that Spanish dog, Torado. We're close. Keep your blade ready. I see you brought one of your colleagues. So, how was your trip? I'm not complaining. Mm. And how is Shusalut? How is our friend? Busy exploring the bottom of the sea. You know, I tend to steer clear of places like this. Pirates, murders, whores, depravity and filth everywhere you look. Everything that's wrong with this city all gathered in one place. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. On the other hand, if you can rely on anyone in this city, it's you people. Greed makes you predictable, it makes you malleable. For the promise of money, you animals would gut your own mothers, wouldn't you? <laughs> Lucky for you, I don't share your high Spanish morals. If I did, I wouldn't be able to kill your fellow officer for you, would I? Now give me my money. Indeed. Do you know, another benefit of dealing with your kind is that you're so easily used then tossed away. Christopher Raven, you stand accused of murdering an officer of the Spanish Navy. The penalty for your crime is death. <laughs> You're gonna regret this, Toronto. Kill him! There's more of them coming. Hold the door. I'll take care of them. Got it. They're behind the door, Chris. We're going to have to split up and meet at the harbor. Go upstairs and try to find a way out. 
I think I saw a balcony up there. And what about you? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Besides, they're not after me. Aren't you lucky? See you on the other side. Keep it quiet, won't you?
Well, that went well. I guess we should avoid San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. Hey, what, what's going on, eh? You sons of bitches trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on? Nope. You're... you're not? No, everything's good here. Lay back down and get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Hmm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia.